23 years on, it remains the night of shame for The Sun and News International. The night editor Kelvin McKenzie penned his notorious headline, The Truth, a series of unfounded allegations blaming Liverpool fans for the Hillsborough disaster. And yet, of course, The Sun was only acting upon copy from a reputable news agency in Sheffield. They'd quoted not one, but several police officers who blamed the fans. At least one MP was also doing the same. The story was sourced. And that's how it was written too by reporter Harry Arnold. Then editor Kelvin McKenzie saw the copy and went to work on that headline, The Truth. I was about to leave the newsroom when I saw him drawing up the front page. When I saw the headline, The Truth, I was aghast because that wasn't what I'd written. I'd never used the words, the truth, this is the truth about the Hillsborough disaster. I've merely written it, I hoped, and I still believe, in a balanced and fair way. It's true, last week Kelvin McKenzie issued a statement, an abject apology. I wish I'd written the lie, he said, not the truth. But he's yet to give any interviews about why he did what he did against all the advice from his own staff. Here's how that fateful night in Wapping summed up in the book, Stick It Up Your Punter. As Mackenzie's layout was seen by more and more people, a collective shudder ran through the office, but Mackenzie's dominance was so total, there was nobody left in the organisation who could rein him in except Murdoch. It obviously wasn't a silly mistake, nor was it a simple oversight. It was a classic smear. Channel 4 News has repeatedly phoned Mr Mackenzie to get him to explain to no avail. So this morning, without a camera, I went to his house in Surrey and asked for an interview. Mr Mackenzie told me to F off and shut the door. So I did, but not far, returning with the camera crew a few minutes later. Kelvin, we want you to do an interview on camera, just giving your side of the story on camera. I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to do it next week. You're not setting But Kelvin, my... no, Kelvin, you've done it. Do it it's just the same thing. Can you explain why you... Kelvin, it's not like you to be shy. Just tell us why you overruled your own journalist to write that headline. Do, I will do all this next week. Well, do it, prop, do it now, Kelvin. There's no need to be uncivilised, shouting through your own doorstep. 20 minutes later, Kelvin McKenzie came out again. <laughs> I'm still employed, yeah. Listen, I really think you need to say why... Tell people why you overruled the views of your own journalists. That's why the point, Kelvin. Why did, no, you, why did you overrule your own journalists? Don't do that, Alex. Please, Kelvin, please, come on, you know the game. Why did you overrule no, the views I, of your own journalists, please, Kelvin? Alex, don't, don't, don't no, assault said, me. No, don't please, assault me. let me close my own Why door. did you ignore Alex, the rules? You go, your own I, journalist told you not Alex, to print that I stuff. I have said why I'm going to talk about it next week, and I'm happy We've to. We've asked you all many times to talk about it. You refuse, so we're talking about it now. Please, let me close my own door. Why did you overrule the views of your own, own door? Not until you've answered that no, question. No, it's not up to you to decide whether I answer questions. Or I will do I it I just next did, week. Kelvin. Please, Kevin. can I just Well, what have you got to say to the door? people of Liverpool for what you've done? I've already explained how sorry What have you got to say for the people of Liverpool? Please, Alex. Please. What have you got it's to say to people? They deny, I'm, it's not reasonable. That's reasonable. pretty rich coming from you, isn't it? Oh, right. Well, not reasonable that? from Kelvin McKenzie. <laughs> Please. I think the public are going to love that, Kelvin. Just tell us on camera why you did what you did. Just tell us why you did it. Gotcha, as Kelvin McKenzie once memorably wrote, except we didn't. His explanation as to why he wrote that headline remains unheard, and many people feel in Liverpool and beyond they deserve to hear it. And if you didn't feel you got enough of Alex's encounter with Kelvin McKenzie, well, you can see it in full and lots more on the Hillsborough tragedy. Go to our website, channel4.com forward slash news.